My name's Scott Graham, I'm from Northwest Local Land Services. We're here today on the Newell Highway between Moree and Tycana Creek on an area which we treated in 2021 for um, mimosa control using uh, pellets uh, and a drone. We're just seeing how we went. If we have a look at this here, we can see that the treatment has worked in that the plant's dead and breaking off quite well. We're right standing right close to the power lines and we've got, we're able to see here where we've got a section of land which is not treated around the power line and a section of land over here which has been treated. And then back over this way here we've got an untreated section of land because we're getting into the Moree flight path. We're looking at what to go with next, whether we leave it as it is and just monitor it or whether we look at going over it with a mulcher or maybe some sort of a blade plough that doesn't disturb the soil or the ground cover and, uh, and try and clean up what's left of, of the dead plants. That way we'll have better access to be able to get in and see what we've missed in regards to what hasn't died and then we can do hand treatment on those on those areas. There seems to be some pretty reasonable regeneration of uh, ground cover underneath it and it's been fairly heavily grazed here uh, all the way through the process. Right, so what we've got here is this is a section up close to a bit of a riparian area. We've got some vegetation, some trees. We gave it a pretty wide berth and you can see that this area here is not treated, whereas if you just go only a couple of metres that way there and that's where it's treated. What's impressed me about using of the drone was how accurate the application process has been. Down to metre accuracy, uh, even down to half metre accuracy. Obviously this area here we're going to come in and do it by hand, but that's greatly lessened the amount of areas from hundreds of hectares down to patches. 